Crisis averted? What's in the debt ceiling agreement that Biden and McCarthy reached to prevent default? To prepare the debt ceiling bill for Wednesday's floor discussion, the House Rules Committee will convene on Tuesday in the afternoon. Just days before a June 5 deadline, President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy achieved an eagerly expected budget agreement, preventing a potentially disastrous U.S. default. Both parties are anticipated to highlight certain benefits of the legislation. According to President Biden, the package represents a compromise, which means no one got everything they wanted. The 99-page deal's language was made public by the House on Sunday night. In addition to providing for a two-year debt limit hike, the deal would maintain non-defense expenditure at about the same level in the 2024 fiscal year and boost it by 1% the following year. To Biden's proposed budget strategy for 2024, the agreement will completely cover veterans' medical care, including a fund specifically for soldiers who have been exposed to dangerous chemicals or environmental risks. In his budget, Biden requested $20.3 billion for the Hazardous Exposure Fund, and Republican negotiators ensured Sunday that funding was preserved. The House will vote on the plan on Wednesday, according to McCarthy, a Republican from California, allowing the Senate time to examine it before June 5, when Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned that the United States may default on its debt commitments if Congress did not move quickly enough. The debt ceiling bill will be prepared for floor discussion on Wednesday by the House Rules Committee which will convene on Tuesday at 3 p.m.